Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another day in the life of vlog. I have a few things going on today. I have an OB appointment, I'm already out of breath. This is 29 weeks pregnant, you guys. <laughs> I have an appointment at my high risk OB to check on baby girl and her growth because of my history with high blood pressure. This is the time that I'm gonna start going to my high risk OB in addition to my regular OB. Um, I think right now it's once a month, but then once I hit 32 weeks, it's like every other week, I could be wrong. Something like that. I know that the frequent appointments are coming up soon. So I have that appointment this morning and then I wanna get started on some nursery organization for Miss Journey. Sticking out there this morning. I'm not dressed yet, I'm still in my robe, but I managed to do a little bit of hair and makeup before Brindley woke up. She is awake now, I'm gonna get her in just a minute, but I just wanted to say good morning to you guys. And yeah, I do wanna talk about, before we kind of start the day, a package that I got in the mail yesterday that I am so excited about. It is from Graco, and I wanna start off this video by thanking Graco for sponsoring today's video. So Graco was generous enough to send me one of their car seats. This is the Graco Forever DLX 4-in-1 car seat. This is the color pattern that I picked out, and it might look familiar to you guys. This is actually Brinley's car seat. So this comes in a ton of different patterns. I really like the Jocelyn one. It's like pink and just girly and cute. And like I said, it's a four-in-one, so you can literally use it from newborn all the way 10 years of use to a backless booster. So this is the only car seat you will ever need. I'm really, really grateful that they sent this to me because now we can have a car seat in Xavier's car when he gets back from Panama City Beach and we don't have to move car seats back and forth, which is such a pain in the butt. And once Journey is here, she can actually use this as well. I do plan on using a infant car seat through Graco for her um, until she outgrows that, probably around 10, 11 months like Brinley did. And then we'll switch over to this just because I prefer to be able to click the car seat in and out and put it into a stroller or whatever, especially in that newborn stage. But this is going to come in so handy. And yeah, I'm going to talk about this car seat a little bit later on in the video and why we love it so much. But let's go get Miss Brindley out of her crib and start this day. Good morning, honey. ready for breakfast and trying to open the cabinet okay. let's see I think we're gonna try some of these new muffins today not new but new to you you want to have some muffins these are blueberry oh all right let's see we'll do this and what else yeah we're gonna have some blueberry muffins and we can have this banana that needs to get ate up have a banana. You like nanas, huh? Banana. Mommy will help you eat that. And some yogurt. There. And that will be Brinley's breakfast. those okay <laughs> no pun intended those are muffins Here you go. 
Oh. Oh my goodness. I promise you, if you try them, you'll love them. For my breakfast, I already had one of these this morning. I have been on a kick with these. Come on, focus. Since the first trimester. Oh my gosh. I don't know why it won't focus on it. The Carnation Breakfast Essentials. There we go. I have been loving these since the first trimester. And I just, every morning, I want one as soon as I wake up. So it gives me some protein and vitamins first thing in the morning. So that way I can focus on getting Brindley breakfast before I really eat. And then I just made myself a little yogurt parfait. I used um, Activia Vanilla Yogurt. A little bit of Nature Valley Big and Crunchy Granola. And then I just used up the rest of that banana from Brindley's breakfast. And that is going to be the rest of my breakfast. And she is liking those muffins. She's already down like one and a half of them. Yeah. It's a good breakfast, huh? Yeah. You love your yogurt too. My big girl. Mm -hmm. So another day, another pair of black maternity leggings. These are my Blanqui ones. They're my absolute favorite. And <laughs> I uh, thought I would try to wear this springy t-shirt from last year with it, but <laughs> no, that's, that's not, uh, no, that's not the look for me. Belly is officially too big to fit into the tight t-shirts, so uh, yeah, let's see what other choices we got. <laughs> okay, that is better. Modernity shirts, definitely necessary in the third trimester. <laughs> Cannot wait to see her on the ultrasound today. And I was going to um, not say anything and just surprise you guys, but as y'all know, I can't keep secrets from you guys. Um, in about a month, this is coming off. This is getting chopped. I have been going back and forth with cutting my hair for a year. And the postpartum hair regrowth, like I always see this in my videos and I just, I hate the way it looks. My little, my little postpartum bangs. Yeah, I'm, I need to do something to disguise these a little bit better because it's driving me crazy. And my hair just feels really dead and unhealthy at the ends. It gets tangly really easily. So I think I'm going to go about to here. It's a little bit different for me. I haven't had a real, real haircut in like nine and a half years. I've only had trims. Um, but yeah, it's time for a change. And I think I'm just going to put some layers in it. I think I'm going to do like the long angled bob. I don't like using the word bob because that freaks me out because I don't want to go too short in the back. But yeah, like start off, I don't know, here. I don't know. We'll see. And it, I seriously need to get my hair dyed because it's so brassy and faded at the ends. But one more month, I have my appointment set and I cannot wait. So stay tuned for that. Okay, I just dropped Brinley off. I almost said Journey. <laughs> no, still have Journey. <laughs> I just dropped Brinley off with my neighbor who's a good friend of ours um, because at the high risk OB, they do not allow children whatsoever. So thank goodness I have good friends in the area. So let's run on over there. My appointment is in like 20 minutes. So I'll probably be there just a little bit early, which is fine. And let's check on baby girl. I can't film in the appointment. They don't allow any sort of recording whatsoever, but I will show you guys some pictures after I get out. I am a little overwhelmed right now. I'm trying not to be, hold on, somebody's walking past my car. <laughs> um, why do I feel like crying? I'm so hormonal. Journey's fine. She's fine. They did not see anything wrong with her. They checked um, my fluid. They checked all her organs, like her heart, her brain. Heart rate was 135. But she is measuring in the sixth percentile. So she's measuring a little small. Brinley always measured in the 50th percentile, like at every one of my appointments. So there was never concern about her growth. But then she was born at six pounds, four ounces because they concluded that somewhere towards the very end, um, she started losing blood inside of me somehow. They couldn't figure out how. She had no open wounds or anything. So they thought it maybe was through my placenta. 
So the fact that Journey's already starting off a little small does scare me. Oh, why am I about to cry right now? You guys, ah, stop it. She's fine, but she's small. So they want me to start coming every single week from here on out, which is gonna be fun <laughs> because I have a toddler and I have a cup. I literally have like two friends in the area that I leave Brindley with. Um, so I feel bad like every single week asking them, not that they care, they're amazing, I love them both so much, but I'm gonna be at this office every week for the next like 11 weeks. So let me show you guys some pictures of my little tiny girl. This is kind of like the front of her face. Hopefully that'll focus, sweet girl. She didn't get any really good ones. Um, and then we have a couple of profile ones. So I do have my 4D ultrasound coming up. So I'm expecting to hopefully get some really good ones at that. But let me go pick up Brinley and probably vent to my friend that's watching her. <laughs> so just keep baby journey in your prayers as she continues to grow and is a good healthy size and that my blood pressure stays down. I haven't even measured it in weeks, but I feel fine. Normally I can feel when it's getting high. My feet aren't swelling, no signs of it being high, but I am gonna start monitoring it like now, um, at least every other day or something, just because I feel like I need to start monitoring a little bit closer. I probably don't. I don't wanna stress myself out anymore, but yeah, hopefully I can carry Journey full term and she's healthy girl even if she's a small healthy girl that's okay as long as she's perfectly healthy i got lots of newborn baby girl clothes that she can squeeze into or not even squeeze into probably will be too loose on her like they were with brinley in the beginning but all right let's go pick up miss brinley all right brinley's gonna play for a little bit before nap time hi she just had lunch and there's the camera so you gotta be a ham you want to see yourself it is friendly. No, no touch. Play. Show them how you play. Play, play. <laughs> You're gonna dust. Can you dust the table? Here, is it kind of stuck? Yeah, the robot vacuum kind of pushes that. Here, do you want to sweep? Here, baby. Sweep. Sweep, sweep. Oh, what a good helper. Roxy, come here, baby. Roxy, come here. It's okay. For those of you wondering how my Roxy girl is doing, she's doing a lot better. I haven't weighed her in a few days. I need to weigh her. But I think she's gained a little bit of weight back. Um, she hasn't thrown up in several days, which is good. So... The medications they gave her, she's just a little scared of the broom. <laughs> the medications they gave her seem to be helping. Um, like I said, no more vomiting or anything. You okay? And she's definitely acting more like herself. <laughs> she hates when I talk to myself. It's got to be all about you, huh, baby? <laughs> so yeah, Roxy's doing better. We still don't really know what was wrong. Um... I don't know, but meds seem to be helping. So hopefully we still have more years with this one. Mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, mm -hmm. my baby, mm, I love you. <laughs> you need help with that? Okay. Yeah, it's kind of tricky to get them off. Oh, you want everything off. Okay, let me put, oh, you, you got it. There you go, you got it. Take everything off. No, no, we don't play with that. You gonna dust the floor with the dust pan? Yeah? Oh. Oh, good job, Brandy. Good job, Mama. Yeah. <laughs> Feels so good to be in short sleeves and bare feet. And only for one more day, and then it's going to be cold again tomorrow. It's 
So this is our weather, 75. All right, Brinley is down for her nap and I am going to eat some lunch and I need to make a phone call real quick while I'm eating my lunch. And before I jump into starting to put some of Brinley's old clothes into Journey's dresser, which was a goal I wanted to get started today, I am going to play a clip now of me showing you guys the Graco car seat, the Forever DLX 4-in-1 that I already have installed in my car to show you guys how it looks in action, why I love it so much. I think I'm going to end up filming this clip tomorrow because it is about to poor and I obviously need to be outside to film that clip so the next clip will actually be coming to you from the future and then after that we'll see what we can tackle in the nursery today hopefully Brinley takes a decent nap it's been hit or miss lately with whether or not she's taken a 45 minute nap or a two hour nap you never know but I'm gonna eat do my phone call you guys can watch that clip and then we will start on the nursery so this is Brinley's car seat already installed in my car. Like I said, this is the Graco Forever DLX 4-in-1 and you can do it four different ways like I showed you guys earlier on the box. The four modes are the rear facing harness which is 4 to 40 pounds, the forward facing harness which is 22 to 65 pounds, and the third way is the high back booster up to 100 pounds. And then the last way you can do the backless booster, which is up to 120 pounds. So like I said, this is the only car seat you guys will ever need for your child, which is amazing. I love the one hand 10 position adjustable headrest. Literally goes up so easily and you can adjust it to make sure that your child is in the correct position and everything. I do leave the headrest in here, but obviously we don't have the newborn in seat insert in here anymore um, but I do like the little bit of extra support that it, the headrest gives her especially when she falls asleep back here I love that it has a six position recline so that it can keep her comfy so when it's rear facing you have these three options I have it on the third option just to have her up a little bit more that seems to be her favorite I also love the feature the rapid remove cover it removes in 60 seconds without uninstalling the car seat which is super important for cleaning I know there's a little bit of crumbs and stuff back here I really have no excuse because this cover is so so easy to get off to clean it's ridiculous and my probably favorite option is the steel reinforced frame which provides strength and durability one of the first things that I noticed when researching for the best car seat was this is number one. When you Google safest car seat, this is the first one to pop up and it's one of the most popular car seats to grow with your child for good reason. So I am so happy with this. I'm so glad that we have another one ready to go for our journey. So yeah, just wanted to give you guys a closer look at this Graco Forever 4-in-1. Say hi, Brinley. Can you say hi? <laughs> say, I love my car seat. It's so comfy. I got all this room. And yeah, can you wave hi? Good job. You're so cute. <laughs> all right, I am in the nursery. Got some stuff in here. Otherwise, it's still pretty bare. I'm trying to talk quiet. Because Brinley's sleeping in the next room over, even though her sound machine is so loud. I'm always afraid I'm going to wake her up when I'm in here. I just have her swing and changing table. The swing is not assembled. This was Brinley's. This is the Graco Duet LX swing that I need to assemble. Um, some decor. And then I do have our changing table assembled in here. This was from her Noni. That's Xavian's mom. This was my early baby shower gift from Xavian's mom. She came down over last weekend and played with Brinley and then we assembled this together. So um, this is, I don't remember the exact name, but this is also through Graco. Total coincidence. I love Graco products as you can tell. Um, and then this is going to be my double stroller. I will actually be talking about that double stroller in an upcoming video. So stay tuned for that. I'm so excited to try that stroller out though. That's a brand new Graco product. And here's her dresser. So I've showed you guys this dresser before. I pulled out one of the drawers to show you that I've already put down 
some contact paper. This is um, sticky, like adhesive contact paper. I'll link this down below. I got it through Amazon. It comes in a ton of different colors, I want to say, and patterns, um, but it was pretty easy to install. And here is, I want to say this bin is zero to six month close of Brinley's. I kept everything, you guys. Anything without a ton of stains or like holes or anything, I kept like this. Oh my gosh. I don't even think she got to wear this because it was too hot and it's preemie. Um, we did get a couple of preemie things that won't focus, but it does say preemie. We did get a couple of preemie things for when she was new newborn because she was so tiny and she only wore them for like a week and then outgrew them. Um, but I don't even think she ever wore this. Journey might be this small to wear a preemie. I hope not. I hope she's a little chunky and as long as she's healthy, it's okay. But Oh, this is going to give me all the feels. So Brinley is still asleep. So let's see what we can accomplish and put in her dresser. I'm not 100% sure on how I'm going to do this yet. I have no organizers for her dresser yet. And I will be changing her obviously on the changing table. And I want to get probably six bins, maybe four. I'm not sure yet. Um, to go under here, obviously to keep like diapers and wipes. But I think I want to keep at least in one of the bins some like sleepers and onesies because, you know, newborns have a lot of blowouts. And I'm going to want something to change her into right here when I'm changing her and not have to obviously walk across the room and get anything so I'm not 100% sure on how I'm gonna do this yet but I want to go through some stuff and just get some stuff in this top drawer and obviously I can move it as I go stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head from all those pretty words you said it's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face, I'm losing track of time and space. I don't know where I am. It's like I'm wasted, and I won't waste it. And I promise that I, I will stand by you forever. I can't get you out of my mind. I will follow you wherever. And I won't waste it. I really did not get too far at all before Brinley woke up. I am so unorganized. I thought I was more organized with this, but now I'm kind of remembering my mindset was, ah, throw it in there, I'll deal with it next go round. <laughs> so this is the top drawer. Um, this is preemie and then these two are newborn. This is newborn and this is newborn. These are all sleepers newborn. I know I have more than that. They're probably just like under there, under all the zero to three month. So these are all the newborn sleepers I have out for now. These few are zero to three month and then these are zero to three month like fleece ones that honestly she may not even fit into anymore by the time it gets cold again. These are all zero to three month onesies. I have a lot more in here and I know I have newborn onesies in here somewhere. I think they're just like on the bottom. Um, I got some matching hats out. I never used like any of these little hats that come with outfits. Hardly ever. Um, these are some things that I don't know if I'm going to hold on to. Oh, not that. I don't know how that got over there. That's a onesie. Or was it stained or something? I don't know how that got over there. But these were just things I remember not really using with Brinley. Or I, when I did use them, I didn't like them. Like, these are sleepers, but they're buttons. Um, these are those gowns that, like, um, let me show you guys. How they're, like, elastic at the bottom. I did not like these. I feel like she moved around so much that they ended up like being up by her waist and her legs ended up being not covered. So I personally didn't like the gowns that have the elastic around the bottom. 
and then this was just a swaddle like a velcro swaddle but it's really really thick and plush so I don't know I, I know I never used it with Brindley and I don't know if I'll end up using it with Journey um, because by then it will probably be getting warmer these are some sentimental things I'm gonna put away in Brindley's memory box this was a onesie with her name on it her little hospital hat and her receiving blanket in the hospital so gotta put those away those are Brindley's um, these things do have stains so I'm probably just gonna chuck them I'm gonna make a pile of stained up clothes I might pressure wash them and try to pressure wash what, what am I talking about <laughs> spray them with like oxyclean and try to rewash them but all of this has been washed I don't even think I said that those are all clean like I can smell drift coming off of them <laughs> like they're all clean clothes um, and then these are some other swaddles that don't have stains and are good to go but the rest of these have stains so I may end up just chucking them because I'm pretty sure they're not going to come out if they are already clean but yeah that's as far as I got and then the second drawer I just started putting pants in here these are all zero to three month pants I think this is the only newborn pants I've come across yet but again I know there's more in there we will find it eventually but that's all the time Brindley gave me for today she actually took a pretty decent nap um, I just was on the phone a bit longer than expected so we will leave all this out and get to it another day all right it is dinner time tonight I made this is just sausage red potatoes a red pepper and some onion grilled up on the stovetop and yeah usually when I make this for Brinley she will eat the sausage and potatoes and leave the onions and the peppers but I always give it to her again just in case she's decides not to be picky <laughs> but I also did chop up a cheese stick for her just in case she doesn't eat most of this but let's cross our fingers that she does this is dinner I'm gonna try to finish all of it my regular OB who I love so much he is just such a good doctor and has always been very accommodating with my needs and making sure I'm comfortable with everything and calling in to check up if he's not the one that did my exam that day or whatever. He got my results from the high risk OB and he called me to make sure that I was okay and wasn't too worried about them or anything. And he just said if I wanted to up my calorie intake a little bit um, because I haven't gained as much weight this pregnancy as I had as I did with Brinley. He said he's not concerned about the amount of weight gain I haven't gained. Um, but he said increasing my calorie intake maybe will help journey gain a little bit of weight so dinner is when i usually slack i usually do smaller dinners but i'm gonna try to finish all of this tonight and get this girl some more food because apparently she needs it so let's see if i can finish this whole bowl of dinner well this is where we're at uh-huh what did you leave on your plate the peppers and onions i think you actually ate some of the onions Oh, and now you want more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you try a pepper? I do. Will you try it for me? You will? Oh, okay. Oh, not so much. It's try. It. It's a pepper. What color is it? Red. You want to try a bite? There you go. How about the onion? I think you ate some onion. It's so good. Num. Num num. Here. Oh, you like, oh, oh, no, just kidding. All right, well, I mean, you did good. I'm proud. I'll take it. Just kind of play with it while I finish mine. I'm almost done. Doing good. Doing good. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. that's her new thing, saying yes to everything. Saying yes. Um. Um. Excuse you. Is that, Is that you? Is that mom? That's Brindley, not mama. Yeah, that's Brindley. Where's mama? No, I'm mama. <laughs> How's that? What? Um. Okay. Um. <laughs> Yeah. 
You ready for a bath? <laughs> Where were you camping on? Oh. No, bye bye me. Toddler for sale. Alright, you got your milk and you're all clean and you want to read your Valentine's Elmo book. This is your new obsession lately, even though you've had it for a year. <laughs> okay, come on up. Let's read. It is I, Grover, messenger of love with a special delivery. A Valentine for Elmo? Thank you, Mr. Grover. It's the only reason she likes this book. It's for the voices. Elmo wonders who this could be from. Hmm. <laughs> Call Dad that? <laughs> yeah. Is it? Let's see. Do you think he'll answer? Oh. He's on another call. Alright. Well, we'll try again in a little bit. You want to play? While we wait for Dada? Huh? You want to play? While we wait for Dada? Uh -huh. oh, I always feel like my pupils have to, like readjust after coming out of Brindley's dark room. I just laid Brindley down. She took a little while to fall asleep tonight. It's 8.30. Lately I've been getting her asleep by like 8, 8.10, but she took a little bit longer tonight. And I have this room to clean up. Not too bad. And the living room. A little messy. And then I'm going to edit this video just a little bit. I'm going to try to get a little bit of editing in tonight. And then I'm going to do some prenatal yoga. If you guys have been around for a while, I did this when I was pregnant with Brinley. Um, what is her channel? Sarah Beth Yoga, I'm pretty sure is her channel. And she has a prenatal yoga playlist. They're older videos, but the bedtime routine. I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. I'll link the exact video that I do the routine to. I loved doing that routine before bed in the evenings when I was pregnant with Brinley. And it's something I've been meaning to start doing again, but I just haven't. But after today's appointment, I mean, not that yoga has anything to do with journey measuring small, but I just, it's giving me more push to like be as healthy as possible for the rest of this pregnancy so stretching all of that is only going to help um so yeah i'm gonna try to do that several nights a week probably not every night if i'm being honest but i'm going to try to do it as often as possible before bed. So that is going to be the rest of my night and that is going to conclude today's day in the life vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us for the day and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching. Subscribe if you are new and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!